Hello and welcome to Free Excel tutorial videos. For today's video, we will take a look on how you can build an account receivable aging report. So what we want to achieve with this report is to be able to see the amount that are past due, okay, for an invoice, okay. So say an invoice that has passed for 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days or so, okay. So on this worksheet here, I have a simple invoice register. Uh, firstly, up here, I have the today function uh, to tell me the today's date. And then I have invoice number, invoice date, due date, amount, and status. So as you can see here, the status here will show me whether the invoice is past due or current. The key to this task is um, because we want to use this as an absolute reference in order for us to uh, determine our past due invoice we have to use a, a absolute reference for the today's date okay uh, in this formula the if function we use the today's date as an absolute references so this is very important so uh, like I said, what I have here is the status uh, that is provided me by the if function. So, using uh, the if function, I can know whether the invoice has already been paid or still yet to be paid. Okay. So, uh, remember what we want to achieve is to know if the invoice is past due how many days has it been has it been 30 days past due 60 days or 90 days or and so on okay so you can find out how uh, how much uh, or how long has the invoice been past due and also uh, we would like to find out the amount okay the amount for the total for the certain period that has been past due okay so let's go to another worksheet over here okay this is the exact same worksheet that I have uh, that, I, that, I, that I just previously showed you but I added a column here number of days past due okay and the today's date I have put on a later date um, to show you how this may work okay because we need a later date um, so that all our due date will be passed okay so let's assume that the date today is 17th of September and over here we have the number of days past due and in here I have used the if function okay so this is how the if function looks like uh, it will take the today's date here and minus the due date okay so if the amount of days is more than 30 days show me uh, the result of the difference between the today's date and the due date so here uh, this cell is V2 is the today's date C5 is the due date and if the value is true the difference is more than 30 days show me the result of today's date minus the due date okay so let's do this from the beginning so type equals um, if tab so the logical test will be today's date and i'm going to make this an absolute reference minus the due date okay so this is the first logical test and I want it to be over 30 comma and if the value is true show me the result of the difference between the today's date and the due date so I'll take the today's date and uh, minus the due date comma if the value is false 
I just want to leave it empty. Close parenthesis and hit enter. So um, the difference between the due date and the today's date is 65 days. Okay, and I've already copied down the formula. And as for the results down here, we don't have any results because uh, the value is false. Okay. So, now that we have the number of days past due, um, what we want to achieve now is to know the amount of the total for the past due. Okay. So, over here I have past due amount and I've divided it into three categories. The first one is 1 to 30 days past due. Second one is 31 to 60 days. And the third one is 61 to 90 days. Okay, so now we want to find out uh, the amount for the days that fall into this category. So how much for the invoice that has passed due for 30 days or how much for the in total total for the invoice that has passed due between 31 and 60 days so what we're going to do is we're going to use the if and the and function so we will, we're going to be looking if a condition is true and then we will be using the and function so the formula I have it in here so we start off with the if function and inside the if function we mask the and function so the and the function will have this first logical is what we want is to have the number of days must be more than or greater than one or less or same as 30 okay and if that is true show me the amount okay so as you can see we don't have any result here because the number of days past due is 65 okay so let's let's copy this formula to both of these cells and let's change the criteria inside okay so once again if function and then you mask the end function so for this we change the criteria to 31 uh, greater or equals to 31 or less or equals to 60 okay, enter and also we do not have result because 65 is more than 60 days so let's come over to the cell and change the value to 61 and 90 okay so hit enter and now there you go we have the value so the total amount for the invoices that has passed uh, from today's date between 61 and 90 days ago is 5,750. So what's uh, left for us to do is to copy down the formula here, here, as well as here. So you can see here we have... Uh, $14,025 uh, this is 60 days so it falls into this category let's put in the dollar sign okay and remove the decimal points so and this is the total for the amount for the invoices that has passed due between 31 to 60 days from today's date and this is the total for the invoices that has passed due 61 to 90 days from today's date and for between 1 to 30 days past today's date there are no invoices okay so this is how you can build an account receivable aging report in Microsoft Excel so that's it for this tutorial I will see you in the next video